Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fight Channel here, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, the Fight Channel is back with some more UFC, ladies and gentlemen. This is the women five weight division. Are you ready to head to the arena? Let's go to the arena for this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. has become a force in this division. And even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have to throw that takedown 5,000 times. Over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, it's rest of practice and pace will know. I just want to make sure that I have a shoot. That is so down with that, no matter how much practice you are not practicing enough to sit out and think about what you did. It's great to watch people get that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting. Sure, as special sure, as anybody folks. in the sport right now, we'll see how it goes for you. Well, for my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, you got to focus on keeping this fight up. She has to stay on her feet. range effectively she has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her ufc career all right just about ready for live action here is tonight's tale of the tape so a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age and they both possess a similar height and reach here's bruce Buffett. ladies and gentlemen this is the main event of the evening and when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 11 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil, Vivian Vivi Araujo. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Alexa Grossa! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, DC, here we go with round one. And this one could get pretty interesting here early. The Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt taking on the decorated striker. Your thoughts on how this one might play out? I think you're going to see the striker fight at range. You're going to see her try to use her jab to keep her opponent away from her. Expect some front kick. Expect a lot of space-creating strikes to make sure that she's not engaging in the Jiu-Jitsu. The moment this fight gets to the ground, she's constantly in danger. Oh! Grosso's uppercut is blocked. So both girls landing right out of the shoot. 
finds a home for that left hook. Some real power shots here. Oh! Flush right hand is true. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Grosso. Nice punch land over the top. Beautiful leg kick throw. Whiffs on the elbow. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. So just over 20 total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grosso. Oh man, that's what we call shin on skull. Several times in this fight, she's gone back to the well with that hit. She is landing it over and over again, so why would she abandon it? It is such a dominant technical skill that every time she throws it, it lands. She's a great combination striker, and she sets up that high kick as good as anybody we've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown do? 30 seconds now to go in round one. Punch over the top. 15 seconds remain in the round. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Great punch, landed with so much power. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, she blocks the punch. Not there. Oh, big elbow. There's a takedown attempt by her there. Not a great entry. What does the Olympian have to say? She has to mix it up. She has to trick her opponent to go to the spot that she wants if she's gonna get this fight where she needs it to be. Nice. Well, you hate to be overly critical because she has landed some good shots, but really nothing in terms of combinations tonight. She's gotta let it fly, man. She needs to let the combinations fly. She's gotta find the confidence in knowing that all that repetition, all that work with her boxing coach is going to pay dividends inside of the octagon. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, straight right. Yes, oh, nice high kick. Oh, big left. Liver kick. Yes. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. That knee might have landed there. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Trying to kick the leg out. Grasso gets caught with that punch. That dad's big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh! She blocked the punch. 
Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Battling for hooks. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. It's such a fast leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Good punch land. Big head kick. Oh! You can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so she's making her way back to the stool. Kind of shaking her head. Thought maybe that knockdown would have produced a finish. Not so much. She's a little discouraged right now because she thought the fight was over. But if you know her, if you spent any time with her, you understand that she's a smart fighter. And she will get right back to doing what she needs to do to win this fight. strikes here just like she did in the previous round it's one thing to be aggressive but also efficient she is certainly doing that stuff the takedown no problem nice punch here still nice body kick lands oh she blocks the punch It was a good night if that landed. Back and forth we go! Oh, nice job by her there. She defends another takedown. She knew her defensive wrestling would be tested tonight. It has certainly held up. A-plus on the test to this point. She is doing a great job of just really recognizing where the takedowns are coming from, recognizing the level changes, and beating her opponent to the next position. Grosso gets caught with that punch. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Try to establish that jab. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh! Woo! What a performance! If you're trying to send a message to the rest of this division, that is how you send it. So a near-perfect shot for her to end the fight. She had this crowd behind her all night long. And I'm not sure how many other fighters in this division could have absorbed that strike and stayed in the fight. A near-perfect land to get the knockout win here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 38 seconds of the third round. We play the winner by knockout, Alexa! See the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knocking. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a knockout by Grasso, ladies and gentlemen. In the third round to end out this fight, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you're watching here on the Fight Channel, that's right, the Fight Channel here on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's free. 99, ladies and gentlemen. we see you more with more great wrestling action in UFC here, ladies and gentlemen. See you then. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.